In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the problem of your Canva links. So actually, if you Google it on Canva, uh, Canva links not working. This is a common issue that a lot of people are facing. And I just wanted to share with you basically what Canva says that you can do, but also kind of my own solution to this, because for most people, it's not it's not going to work. So Canva, what it says, it says that maybe you have um, some text on the curve effect or neon effect. So basically what it means is that if I make a design, let's just make a quick A4 document. And let's say I create a planner. So just let's type in planner. I create um, a daily planner. And then here I decide to make this an effect. So I make it neon or I make it curved. Technically, it says that if I'm going to add some buttons over here. So let's say I'm going to make a quick button. If I'm going to add some buttons and if you want to see a video where I explain in detail how to create your own digital planner, I'm going to link it below. OK, anyways, so I can make a button here and then again, I can just write whatever January. And then once I have this button, uh, then I can add a hyperlink. So basically, I just need to click here and then link it to the next page. So let's say I'm going to have this page and this is my hyper. That's where my hyperlink would go. So <clears throat> or, you know, let's make it bigger so you can really see. So this is clicking here and then I just click to I don't have my pages titled, so that's why. So now when I download it and I download the specifically st standard PDF, because if you do download print, there is no way it's going to work. But let's say you do download standard PDF, um, then it's technically it should work. So I'm going to go here, open the PDF and I need to open it, I think, in Canva to see that it works. Le I mean, in GoodNotes, let me just up open it in uh, GoodNotes. Come on. Come on. Come in, computer. Okay. Uh, delete document. I wanted it faster, but it made it slower. So that's, how it, that's what we're dealing with today. It really doesn't want to work, but I mean, my computer, but you have to. So I'm just going to upload this document. And then once it upload, it's uploaded, I'm going to click this icon here. And, uh, and as you can see, it's not working. And I've noticed that Canva started like becoming worse and worse with it. I don't, I don't know why, but it's just how it is. So as you can see here, I definitely have it. Um, but then if you try to download the PDF, it just stops working and now so the whole argument that it should be the effect here um, there's no effect Canva. there's nothing so you have a problem <laughs> and you make us suffer through this which is really not nice as you can see it's not working it's not working at all so if that's the case for you because sometimes it works sometimes it stops working for me because I have too many pages sometimes it doesn't what you can do now you're going to download this with everything already ready. So you create, created your planner. We're not going to lose this work, OK? You're going to download this as a PNG or a JPEG, whatever. I'm just gonna, let's just download this PNG. I'm just going to select all my images and I'm going to download. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google Slides. And then once I'm in Google Slides, I'm going to go to Slides. And I'm going to choose blank and I'm going to change the size of this. So the page setup has to be completely different. We're going to choose custom and I really don't remember what it is for a four size. <clears throat> now for the sizes, again, I don't know if you know, but you could just type in good notes standard size and you will find all the suggestions. But in general, for most of these planners, if you use a4 we're probably going to be fine so we can either do it in inches or millimeters i'm just going to do millimeters uh, why is it centimeters okay 
from the middle one and two nine seven. We need uh, one because it's so here we have that. I'm gonna delete this <clears throat> and now I have my images so I can just you know have them and I can just drag and drop and that's it and if it's not fitting perfectly for whatever reason even though it should you can just adjust it quickly so and then I have my new slide and then I delete this one and I drag and drop this one so I don't know why it's not fitting perfectly it should um, I would if I were you then I would look into the sizes again maybe I did something wrong I don't know maybe the canvas size or you know the the sign size let me resize so when you click resize you can actually see the actual size so it's 21 29 7 okay let me just try it again file page setup yeah it's 21 29 7 what's your problem I don't know what's his problem anyways unfortunate but we just have to then extend and make it the right size that's life or actually there's another thing okay i got ex extremely excited about it i don't know why i can choose the image and i can browse and i can choose the second one and in that way i can add the image there and that's it so Basically, what I'm saying is that you create the design on Canva if you've already created because there are more options there. But then when you are actually uploading it, you upload it to Google Slides or what's its name? It's that, um, I forgot, but it's that one that Mac has it, whatever, or any other platform where you can edit slides like PowerPoint and that Kino, I think. Okay, so here now, how do we add the links? Super easy. I click the shapes, I click this one, I add the square, and then I delete, I make it transparent, transparent. And then I just click, um, right click, link, or use a shortcut. And then I just choose slide two. So I will type in slide two. That's it, my January is ready. Now you don't you might maybe don't believe that it works. So I'm gonna show you that it does. And in this method, most of the time, like I mean all the time it works. The only thing is that Google Slides uh, max slides number is limited. So it's you can only make 200 slides. If you're gonna make more slides, you need to consider to invest in Adobe InDesign or what about um, Keynote um, 150 or PowerPoint, PowerPoint mm, or you can do it on PowerPoint and there's no uh, slides number. Can we get PowerPoint for free? Mm. No. I don't know. Is PowerPoint free? I don't know. Google Slides is free, so that's what I usually use. Come on. Okay, so while I'm waiting to find out that, I'm gonna go ahead, go to Good Notes. I'm gonna download my planner this time. Now that it's finally working uh, the internet doesn't want to work with me so i'm sorry for this guys it's just why are you not working i'm so nice to you get away uh import and now i'm gonna have the daily planner so let me just where are you okay sorry for the mess um, but it should be here. I don't see it. Okay, maybe I, <laughs> maybe I didn't download. Okay, download and we download it as a PDF document. That's it. And then we go to Good Notes and then. Okay, so let me just try again. That was probably a mistake, but can I just. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, it's too much for my poor computer today. 
Too much work. Uh, yeah, nothing wants to work for me. I don't know if you ever have those days when it's just like this. But that's how it goes, so can't do anything. Okay, here, finally, come back. Um, so here, I have my planner. I click on this thing. Why is it so big? Okay, I click, make sure that it's this one, the link clicker, and I click, as you can see, again, we have the link, we click on it, we're here. So if you made your planner already on Canva, don't worry. If you need it for something else and you need the hyperlinks, this is how you do it. And then I still don't know if you can get it. I think you can. I mean, somehow this doesn't look great, but I think you can. I think you can get it. See, free. You can have it for free. So if you need a smaller planner, you can just use Google Slides. If you need a big room, you can just use PowerPoint. Either way, the links are going to work and these this is a much more this is a more reliable way to do it. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is useful. If you have any questions whatsoever, just let me know in the comments below. See you.